Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you follow me, you know that I went to New York City recently and I'm still working on editing all my videos. So if you would like to see all the amazing contents that I recorded there, please subscribe to my channel. I am currently walking along the famous Central Park where there are a lot of high-end hotels. This one is the iconic Plaza Hotel which is where the famous and the rich like to stay when they are in the city. It also offers luxury apartments on the top floors with breathtaking park view. The famous fashion designer Tommy Hilfiger used to own the penthouse suite here which was sold to the automobile mogul Terry Taylor for $31 million in 2019. If you happen to come to New York, I would recommend you stopping by this historic chateau style building and enjoy some afternoon tea, which is served in the Palm Court located in the center of the ground floor. The food is on the pricier side, but it will complete your New York experience. Alternatively, you could also enjoy some breakfast at Tiffany's, which is one block away. If you are interested in checking out my Tiffany vlog, please click on the link down below. Today, I am going to take you to another legendary jewelry boutique on 5th Avenue, which is the famous French designer Van Cleef & Arpels. The boutique is located on the ground floor of the department store Bergdorf Goodman, which is my favorite department store in New York. I also did a holiday vlog here, um, and they have, in my opinion, the best holiday windows. I will link that video down below. Uh, as well so that you won't miss out. What I love about Bergdorf is that even though the holiday season is over, every time you walk by the store, you get this vibe that you can never have enough glamorous outfits. This store perfectly showcases the quintessential New York glam and elegance. Uh, and by the way, I bought myself a little present when I visited the store and I will publish the unboxing video soon, so please stay tuned if you're interested. Now let's get down to business. Van Cleef was founded about 50 years after Cartier as a result of the love story between Alfred Van Cleef, the son of a diamond broker, and Estelle Arpels, the daughter of a precious stone dealer. Van Cleef's creations stand out with their feminine designs, featuring a lot of floral and butterfly-inspired elements. Check out this beautiful high jewelry piece in their display window right now. Isn't it one of a kind? Van Cleef is one of the few jewelry brands that are willing to review the prices of their high jewelry pieces on the website. Prices range from $50,000 for some smaller pieces such as rings to over a million dollars for some necklaces draped in diamonds and precious stones. Because this is a 5th Avenue boutique with a large amount of wealthy clients living close by, it is not surprising that they have more high jewelry pieces for display compared to other stores in the state or even in the country. They also have a heritage collection on the top floor with masterpieces designed from decades ago. Uh, I'm also hoping to purchase a bracelet from their new Alhambra collection, so I can't wait to take you guys inside. After stepping inside of the boutique, you get to see the brand's popular Lucky Animal collection. This collection first appeared in 1954 as an effort for the Maison to introduce more accessible pieces to the public with a sense of humor. The designs were inspired by American cartoons and had a strong celebrity following such as Jackie Kennedy and Grace Kelly. The modern day collection, which is the one that we are familiar with today, was introduced in 2017 and are presented as clips to add a playful touch to your outfit. 
prices of those clips range from 6,000 to 8,000 US dollars, which is pretty high, especially considering that you can get the house's famous Alhambra bracelet for about um, half of the amount. But these are collector's items. Uh, if you are a diehard Van Cleef fan, because many of the creations uh, of this collection are limited edition only. Speaking of bringing back vintage collections with the modern twist, we have to check out the Zodiac collection. As mentioned in one of my previous videos, this collection was first introduced in the 1950s and was brought back in the 70s and again uh, recently. This collection has a very wide price range with the more plain gold designs at around $3,000 and it goes up all the way to over $30,000 for those with precious stones embedded. We cannot talk about Van Cleef without mentioning the flora motifs which lie at the heart of the jewelry house. I think what Van Cleef does the best is creating beautiful jewelry pieces that are inspired by nature and bringing life to those creations by capturing their movements through their unique and glamorous designs. Check out this collection that was introduced in 2016, which translates to the golden button. The design first appeared on the dress of the ballerinas introduced in the 1940s. It pays tribute to flowers and showcases the house's craftsmanship by incorporating mother of pearls, carnelian, diamonds, and pink gold in those masterpieces. With that, let's go to the second floor to check out some of the vintage pieces that are on display right now in the boutique. Van Cleef is a brand that really appreciates their long history. You can tell by scrolling through their website where there is a section that's designated to their signature designs in each decade from the very beginning. They also have a heritage gallery section which stores the masterpieces that were created in the past. As a result, it is not surprising why they have a heritage section in display in the boutique. I am not sure if those pieces are for sale, but I think that they are mostly for display only, which showcases the brand's history and sophistication to their future customers. It looks like animal designs have been at the core of Van Cleef's history as we do see a recurring theme of animal brooches in the vintage collection. Other than high jewelry, Van Cleef makes very high-end watches as well. Their watches differ from other top uh, watch brands, which um, usually offer a more clean and classy design uh, with a lot of metals and uh, steel. Van Cleef's watches tend to incorporate their feminine and glamorous jewelry designs and can cost up to half a million dollars. Check out this Foley Depreze watch in white gold 
uh, with diamonds and mother of pearl dial. Isn't it stunning? This watch costs a whopping 250,000 US dollars. This collection also comes in uh, colored gems. The most popular color combination is rose gold and ruby, which is the one that we're looking at right now, as well as white gold and sapphire, which is about 50% cheaper than the ruby combination. Speaking of rubies, check out the Stunner, which is part of the Jardin de Rubies collection, meaning treasure of rubies. It is made with 18.12 carat rubies, pink, and white diamonds. This is probably the most beautiful necklace I have ever seen in person. I feel like this necklace belongs to a princess or a queen somewhere uh, from the ancient times. Uh, the pendant of this necl necklace can also be detached, which makes uh, this piece of jewelry very versatile. In this collection, Van Cleef transformed more than 3,000 carats of certified rubies into 60 masterpieces. These stunners showcase the incredible craftsmanship of Van Cleef, as well as the timeless design that they're famous for. They're such a feast to the eyes. I came into the store today mostly because I am very interested in the new Alhambra collection which features alternating rose gold and carnelian motifs. I think this release is very special because the regular carnelian bracelet is very pretty and adds a pop of color but it is not very sparkly. However, the addition of the finely polished rose gold motifs solved the problem and you have everything in one bracelet. As you can see, they just set me down um, while my sales associate went to check on the bracelet and they gave me a really cute box of chocolate which is very delicious. Unfortunately, the bracelet um, I wanted was not available and I was told that there is a two months wait list. I wonder if this is one of those control su supply type of situation. But anyways, make sure that you call the store in advance if you want to purchase a particular um, item. Uh, they did let me try on a diamond embedded Alhambra bracelet, which I think is absolutely beautiful. I never thought about trying this bracelet on um, and I didn't want to take it off after I put it on my wrist. However, this bracelet costs more than 10000 which is above my budget, so one can only look. Stepping outside of the VCA flagship, you will see Tiffany's landmark building right across the street, which was recently renovated. I did a Christmas at Tiffany's vlog, which was very dreamy, so please check it out if you're interested. I also want to mention that Chanel recently opened a high jewelry boutique that step away from uh, where we are right now. I plan on booking an appointment there and do a vlog for you guys. So please subscribe to my channel if you would like to check out their new boutique. Thanks again for coming to shopping with me today and see you guys next time.